hi everyone in this video i am going to try to explain you guys what are the network profiles this video is related to my another video that i i have already uploaded on my channel which is uh, regarding turning off the firewall in that video uh, i showed you how you can turn off the firewall on each of the windows profile which are uh, public private and domain so when i was new in it i was like uh, what are these profiles you know so i started reading uh, about it and whatever i uh, whatever i have learned i'm going to share with you guys so basically again like there are three profiles on uh, windows machine uh, this is right now i'm using uh, this is a windows home version so i have set uh, i'm using my home network you know so as you can see my uh, profile here is private so what happens is like when you choose your network to be private uh, usually that's the case when you are using your home network uh, the network discovery uh, automatically becomes turned on so you can access the other resources on your network i'll show you so when you go into the network and sharing center and you can also see here it says private right here and when you go into the change advanced sharing setting uh, settings uh, you'll see the network discovery for private uh, network current profile is uh, private and the network discovery is on automatically and it says when network discovery is on this computer can see other network computers and devices uh, and is visible to other network computers so if you see the guest networks guest or public you will see the network and discovery is off here same as with the file and printer sharing and you can also see some other settings here uh, which sometimes you have to configure if you're trying to access network resources so so what happens is like say that you are sitting uh, at a dunkin donut or like maybe at an airport you know and you connect to the public wi-fi so windows when you first connect to any network wi-fi even if it's a home network the windows will uh, deem it as a public network uh, meaning that it's gonna apply the firewall profile which is gonna be more stringent more restrictive uh, because it's gonna consider that you are connected to a public network you know it's not gonna allow you to access everything it's gonna keep things secure you know because it can't trust the other devices on the network but when you mark your network as a private uh, you get to see everything on your network like other devices you can access and stuff like that because you're basically telling windows okay i trust this network uh, make it a private network so I can see other devices on the network and share my resources or access other uh, computers resources that they are sharing uh, from my computer so hopefully I'm making sense here so then uh, the question came into my mind so what happens if I'm connected to uh, uh, let's say I'm sitting at a Dunkin Donut I'm connected to their public Wi-Fi but then I'm gonna uh, access my corporate resources uh, I have to I connect the VPN so Windows is smart enough that it uses something called a technology multiple active firewall profiles so whatever traffic uh, is not going through the VPN uh, it's gonna apply the public uh, firewall settings on it and if uh, whatever traffic is going through the vpn it's going to apply the domain profile of windows firewall settings on it 
because you connected your corporate or your work VPN using your uh, work uh, username and password account. So this is my Windows uh, Home, uh, Windows Windows Home version. So it's not I'm, I'm I won't be able to show you a lot on uh, here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna or I, I'm already connected to my Windows Server 2022 uh, 20, uh, uh, machine here. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna bring that up, and as you can see, this is like my home lab dot com. So when you have a domain joined uh, computer, uh, you won't see like a private or a public here. You'll see the domain uh, domain uh, profile is uh, uh, domain Windows. Will see that you're connected to a domain, so it will apply the domain firewall policies here. So if you were to compare this with uh, my Windows Pro computer here, so you can see here, this one is private, this one is like a domain. So, so as you can see, this is my Windows Home uh, computer showing a private network. Uh, and it's applying the Windows uh, firewall settings according to the private network profile. And this one here is uh, domain joined, so it's show it's gonna apply the uh, Windows firewall domain settings. So here's what we can see here: the profiles again. So basically, when you open the, so you can also run this uh, command to see what network uh, profile is being used right here as you can see network category here is domain authenticated so and same thing you can if I were to run this command here on my window pro as you can see if I were to type this is a windows home version that I'm using here if I were to type the command get net connection profile, uh, you'll see the network category is private. Again, whenever you first connect your laptop to a Wi Fi network or the Ethernet network, it's gonna by default, uh, Windows is going to by default. Uh, consider it as a public network until you tell the windows that it's that you trust the network and make it a private network so on here which is my RDP I'm RDP into I'm remotely connected to my uh, Windows server machine I'm gonna go into the VPN here and under the uh, local group policy editor I'm gonna go into the Windows settings and I'm gonna go into the Security settings and I'm going to then go into the Windows Defender firewall with advanced settings just highlight this local group policy object for the Windows Defender firewall and here you can see domain profile private profile public profile so Windows by default basically would have uh, Windows 10 Pro I believe would have uh, three profiles domain private and public profile by default, all the networks are considered public and the windows will apply the appropriate firewall settings according to the profile. If you make it a private, then windows will use the uh, firewall profile which is applicable on a private network. And if you, are, if you have a domain joint computer, then the windows defender firewall is gonna apply the domain firewall settings so i hope i am able to make things clear for you guys as far as these uh, network profiles are concerned on windows and also what happens if you are connected to a public network and the private at the same time and how windows uh, able to manage it and that feature or technology is called is multiple active firewall profiles so uh, that's it for uh, today guys, uh, you guys have a nice day, have a nice weekend as well.